Hey guys, Dr. Paul here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a putty key or a putty index. Now, putty key is used for quite a few different things. One of them would be for a diagnostic wax up. So for example, if a patient wanted to have some veneers done and you wanted to show them what they could look like, you'll use the putty key to transfer that to their mouth so you can show them exactly how they're going to look. A few other reasons might include a preparation guide on the day of preparation for the veneers or for the temporaries once the veneers are actually prepared. So this patient we're gonna be doing some veneers for and we want a trial to see how it looks in his mouth first. So what we wanna do is get the putty. So most are gonna come as a catalyst and a base or an A and B mix. Now make sure that you've got enough of the catalyst and you're gonna mix them together. So I use gloves because this one gets quite messy. And then we're gonna mold it over the top of the teeth. Make sure that it is thick enough that it is nice and robust. You don't want it too thin because then it's a bit too flexible. So you want it to be nice and solid just so it holds its shape really well. Make sure to go past the teeth that you're working on just so you do have a solid stop on some other teeth that it can rest on. And same thing with the sulcus. Go quite far into the sulcus. Once you've got that in position, you're gonna wait for this to set. So now that this is set, we just wanna improve the accuracy a little bit. So this is quite accurate, but we're gonna make it a little bit more accurate by doing a light body wash. We're going to bleed some material first, and we're gonna put some in the teeth that are having the additions done to them. You don't need a huge amount. And then a little bit, what I do is a little bit around the margins to make sure that they're really defined. So that's on the model. And then we're gonna put this over the top. Make sure to squeeze it really hard. Now you can keep that in place with a rubber band. So we can put a rubber band around it. Or what I like to do is just keep it in with my hands first. Once it sets for about a minute and you can feel that it starts to harden up, then I'll put it in a rubber band and then leave it for about another five. Okay, now that this is set, it's really firm. We're gonna take this out. Now just pry it off, but do it kind of gently just see so to make sure that the light body doesn't actually separate from the putty. Perfect, and you can see where the green is. That's the extra detail that we've now captured. That looks really, really good. Make sure as well that you do leave the light body in long enough. If you take it out too early, it will be more likely to detach. And obviously that's not what we want. So we're gonna trim away the excess light body first. So now the next little bit, you can see here that we have some excess material above the gingiva. Now you have two options. The first option is to leave it like this. When you put your temporary material inside of here and you put it over the top of the teeth, you won't be able to remove the excess as easily. So you end up being in the position where you have to make sure you're squeezing around here so the excess squirts out over the top and it's gonna come out in this section here. The other option is that we can actually remove the excess above the gingiva as close to the gingiva as possible. That way you can actually remove the excess a little bit easier. I'm gonna show you half half and then it might be some trial and error on your part to decide which one you would prefer to do. So basically with the scalpel, you're gonna bring it down in between the teeth. Like so. So here we have the finished product. So we've done half where we've removed the excess, half where we haven't. You'll just have to see which one you prefer as to which is easier for you. Basically how to use it is you're gonna put your temporary material on the inside here, put it over the top of the teeth, hold it in position, making sure that you're pushing hard against the gingiva. Once it does set, you're then gonna remove the excess with a sickle scaler or some other sort of instrument, and then slowly peel it away from the teeth. And that is how you make a putty key for a diagnostic wax up. Now, one little tip I'll give you is to make sure that this is very, very accurate. This isn't a step that you wanna rush. If it is more accurate, there's gonna be less excess to clean up. It's gonna look a whole lot better. Your patient's just gonna be able to visualize things. I know that when I rushed it, that was when the result wasn't as good as what it could have been. So make sure you spend some time to make a good quality putty key. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you got anything out of the video, please like, share, subscribe. Those things really help me out a lot. And if you have any questions, please put them in the comment section. Have a great day, guys. Keep on smiling.